All right, Tyler Orton from Business of Vancouver is joining us. Good morning, Tyler. How are you? Hey, I'm doing quite well, Steve. Excellent. Uh, so we're talking about the BlackBerry. Yeah, uh, new uh, financials are out for the second quarter, and we're seeing a big sales slump with the Canadian uh, smartphone maker. That said, it looks like they're trying to revive sales a little bit, so at least by the end of the year. They want to release a device that's going to be running on the Android operating system. Now, if we take a look at the numbers, I can just show you why these uh, are, are a little bit disappointing. Uh, BlackBerry th they had a net income of $51 million, and they were warning people, you know, our, our profit's not going to be as big as it was, you know, this time a year ago. Uh, revenue is down tremendously. Uh, last year, during the second quarter of 2014, it, it was almost double what it is right now at $490 million. So th that's a big uh, loss uh, that they had over this past quarter. And quarterly loss, um, now I, I mentioned that profit is at $51 million, but quarterly loss is at $66 million when you do adjusted profit. Now, if we take a look at what they're up to with the Priv, this is the new device that they want to get out there with the Android operating system. Now, the Priv, according to CEO John Chen, it's going to combine uh, the kind of uh, tools that BlackBerry is known for when it comes to security features with uh, the uh, Android operating system. Now, we don't have any pricing details just yet on the Priv, but we do know that it's going to have a, uh, a slide-out keyboard that will be underneath the uh, touch screen. But guess what? If you're already a fan of the BB10, that's the current operating system that uh, BlackBerry's on, you don't necessarily have to get the Priv only with Android. Uh, BlackBerry's going to give people the options. And that's really what they're trying to do is just kind of spark a lot of enthusiasm over the product right now because we see, you know, revenue is down quite a bit, a lot more than analysts were expecting uh, going into the quarterly financial results that were out this morning. Okay, Tyler, thank you very much. Thank you.